to show you now, here is one that I have cooled down and made earlier and rolled. So once that has been baked, and this will be hot, okay, so you have to roll it when it's hot, put it down on a tea towel and roll it while it's hot. Now this is, people have problems, they, it can break um, if, you, if you're not careful. So you roll it up in the actual tea towel like I did uh, earlier on, just not too tightly though, just very gently roll it over. That's all I did. And I chilled that for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes until that's very gone very cold. So what I'll do now is fill with the jam and cream. And here's some I mixed up. So it's all a lovely smooth consistency. And then just spoon it on much liberally. I'm going to save some jam, a little bit of jam for the decoration afterwards. And you can just spread this with your spoon. Well, not too close to the edges or because once you roll it you want to ooze out all over the, the edge of the Swiss roll. Just do it as even as you can. have to be too fussy. Okay. Now we want to have the cream. Now this is the cream that I've whipped up. It's not overly whipped, it's just it's just enough. Here's my spoon is on. Some good generous servings, not too much because you find it's so hard to spread. You do just and get a wet knife and then just gradually spread out as even as possible to the edges. Just tease it away with the yeah, like so. Don't be too fussy because you need a little bit more cream. too much cream you can just literally scrape off with the edge if you wish just tease that very carefully because you want to separate and mix the jam into the cream that's the tricky part as level as possible and to the edge as much as you can. So that's what we need to do on that stage. The final stage is the rolling back up again. Now this is now it's obviously going to ooze out the side but you don't want to roll it too tight just gently and lifts over the cream because you find that this will be a lot larger than it was without the filling gently roll that up just like that that's a very generous amount of cream in there which is still good and then that's the main making of the roll now what you need is 
just some ice and sugar which I put in a sieve and just sprinkle some ice and sugar for the decoration makes it look even more tasty. Now what I'm going to do for the very last bit of detail is a little piping bag which uh, I can show you how to make on another, um, another episode. Fill the tube there with the jam. like that there I made a little hole there on the end of the piping bag not too big a hole because just fold that over and jam in there and then this is what you do you feather the raspberry jam over the top for the finishing touch. This is all you do. That's all you need to do. That's all there is to it. There. I'll just take this off carefully. that onto a, onto a tray there. And there is the finishing result. That's your raspberry jam and cream, fresh cream Swiss roll.